What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Blades with Bill. I'm Bill. Today we're going to be checking out the Remet Peacock. This is a new budget knife from a new knife company. And just to be honest, they did send me this. Let's get into it. We have FRN handle scales, a deep carry pocket clip. It is recessed, but is not reversible and does have flat screws. It has a flipper tab. It should have thumb studs, but we'll get into why it doesn't here in a little bit. It is well cut out for easy access to the lock bar. Has a nice sharpening choil. Do a little size comparison real quick. The Vostede Raccoon Crossbar. The CGRB Pyrite. The Bird Harrier 2, which is about the same size as the Andela. Petrified Fish Mini Beluga. And just because I had it on me doing cut tests, PM2 and 15V. And these are both knives that you can get for about 30 bucks. For 30 bucks, either is a great choice. Before, I probably would have told you to pick up the Bird, which is Spyderco's budget line. But after trying out this Remet, it's been such a solid knife that I would totally recommend it over the Bird. Because 9CR is slightly better than 8CR, and it is well done 9CR. It does have nice smooth action. It's not drop shut, but it is very, very smooth. And as I said before, it has a nice sharpening choil, plenty of sharpenings for this knife. It's very comfortable in hand. You notice the pocket clip, but it's not a hot spot. And it's whichever way you want to use it, reverse grip, forward grip, very comfortable, even in harder push cuts. And as I said before, it is cut out very well for access to the lock bar. Even the lock bar has got a little bit of a notch to it to make it easier on your finger. But it's not so much that it feels weak when it locks up. Very solid feeling lock. It has a nice size stop pin for the size of the knife. Very solid sounding. The only downside to this knife that I found was the detent. For the flipper tab, it's great. Just break the detent it flies out no problem. But the thumb studs, which is why they're no longer there. It was so strong that... It almost would cut you before it would actually break the detent, at least on the one that I have, and I only have the one to check out. But I have to say, I was actually very surprised how well made this is. It definitely feels like it should be a knife way over $30, but it's only 30 bucks. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor, give me a thumbs up. It's the best thing you can do for mine or any channel. I'll leave my affiliate links along with my social medias down in the description of the video. Everyone have a great day. Stay safe. Peace.